Okay, doing a cell fire installation today, and I'm gonna show you how to put on one of these connectors. So this is uh, L4T NM-PSA connectors, like this when they're done. What we've got in the box is another connector itself, which comes apart, a little measuring tool for you. And we've got a spring and a rubber stopper. I'm also going to use a manual prep tool and flare tool. And the, uh... Manual prep tool is the MCPTL4. And that's specifically for the uh, Heliax half inch cable. First of all, I'm going to take about 40 mil off this outside. Jack it off. Helps if you got a sharp knife. Mine's a bit blunt at the moment. Okay. Now what you want to do is get that manual prep tool and it actually tells you which direction the cable end is. So this cable end is the arrow facing up. So pop that in there. You can see how that goes in on that next run. Now, what you want to do is when you close that up, is you don't want to let go of it at all. Once you close it, don't let the pressure go because you'll end up with a jagged cut. Okay, at first it's actually a bit hard and then as you spin you'll feel it let go. That's when you know you're through. Some says like four or five, other instructions say 12 spins. All right. Now what it's done there is given a little cut at that point, a little cut here. And what we can do is we want to be able to pull off this top outer conductor with the dielectric and get rid of the little bit of outer jacket. Okay. The outer jacket's gone. Now you want to be careful at the very top of your uh, conductor, your inner conductor. It's actually only the last 
micromillimeter around the outside of it that actually conducts. It's not the whole item. So if you get in there and actually score around the outside, you're actually breaking the conductor. So if I go in here, I've got to make sure I'm not going the depth of the conductor itself. Only just giving the dielectric a bit of a, a score. So that way it gives away when I pull on it. You don't want to go all the way in, hack away, because you rip the outside edge of that conductor. There we go. So now what we're left with is you see the jacket and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six full rings and one half ring. Now what you need to do is trim off the actual inner conductor now at the right height. So here inside the uh, packet of it's actually this um, measuring tool and you can pop this over the top there we go. now that's exactly the height that you need to cut now I'm in a bit of a weird position I haven't quite worked out how to uh, cut this at a nice angle yet as I cut this, you want to get it square, basically. Um, your nice square cut. Interesting fact, coax cable was actually designed uh, after communication cables inside airplanes were accidentally dropping bombs. So it was designed as part of um, an Air Force standard. And it's been quite popular ever since. And it's, it's actually got a couple of sections of protection. The, the inside dielectric is um, protecting it against, you know, power cables and frequencies right next to it. But the outside conductor is what's protecting it from other radio frequencies getting in and actually causing a false a false reading okay there we go so now that inside conductor is all nice cut at the right height just what I was saying before so this here is all actually protection. So what they call the outside conductor is actually to stop radio frequencies getting through and affecting the inner conductor. And that dielectric there is what's stopping it being next to say high voltage cables. And that also causing interference. It's two levels of protection. Now let's have a look at here. What we want to do is get the burrs off this in a conductor and get a file. Just make that a little flatter. Now what I want to do is just take a tiny little edge off that so when it slips in it seats in nicely because it is very very tight the connection. Without this, it could get stuck. Okay. Next, what I want to do is grab the
rubber grommet, pop that over the last full run there just before the bottom. Unscrew the conductor. Go, slide that guy on top. Okay, so you see that top there is exposed. And what we do, get the little spring, pop that on top. Flare tool. So I'm using the Comscope 2243-63 flare tool. You don't have to put much force on this, just enough to kind of push down that uh, dielectric that's there. compress the dielectric they say good last now this is you can see in there Whoop. there we go so a conductor goes into that piece there and seats in that's why you had to use the file so you can get that in there, it's quite tight. There we go. Okay. Now you start it off with your fingers. And then just need just a quarter turn to get at the last. There we go. Now it's tight and he needs that last quarter turn. Okay, that's it. That's how we put a big termination on Heliax cable using the L4TM connectors. Thank you.